This afternoon we're going to present the results of a survey amongst the house staff at Wake Forest. Um, uh, spouses um, and their uh, perceptions about um, uh, burnout. Burnout is uh, defined as a lack of enthusiasm for work. It's prevalent in the population as a whole, and in fact, is more prevalent in healthcare providers than the general population. And it's been found that in the last 10 years, it's becoming more prevalent. It's not a syndrome, but it's a contributory cause to many uh, diagnoses that might be considered in the psychological or psychiatric realm. The key components are emotional exhaustion, depersonalization, and either as an associate effect or independently low personal achievement. And it's found, as I said, despite the advances in medicine, in some respects, to be increasing and therefore might be uh, lead eventually to uh, disimprovements or reducing quality of care. It is multifactorial. There's not a, it's a dilemma because sometimes it can result between difficulty balancing work and life for optimal performance. And because as we try to improve healthcare, if burnout is prevalent, it can in fact be, have a negative effect on the things that we're trying to improve, which is reducing medical errors, uh, lower the quality of care, uh, and, and increasing cost of care where the GDP, the percentage of GDP in healthcare today is increasing at a phenomenal rate. Ultimately, our patients have poor satisfaction which might be seen as one of the primary aims of providing medical care for health providers, no matter what their position is. Thank you for that introduction, Cormac. So uh, burnout in physicians through surveys are, give statistics of about 50%. In house staff, that statistic is more like 75 to 80% of house staff are showing elements of burnout. The ACGME, our governing and accreditation body, has mandated that uh, training programs that are under their jurisdiction uh, address the issue of burnout in-house staff. So at uh, Wake Forest Baptist Health, through our GMEC, um, we had a, a short house staff burnout survey that was conducted uh, in early January 2017. We got about 400 responses, giving us a response rate of 57%. And it focused on uh, two elements of uh, burnout. One is, do you feel burned out and how often? So over 50% of the house staff felt like they were burned out sometime to very often. 10% uh, said they felt burned out every day. Half of them felt more calloused towards their patient and over 50, uh, 70 percent felt that work had hardened them emotionally. Uh, and then again, 50 percent were feeling uh, down or depressed. So this is the house staff burnout survey. We, Dr. O'Donovan and I, wanted to look at what the resident spouses had to say. So at Wake Forest Baptist Medical Center, we have the Resident Spouse Association which is a nonprofit uh, organization whose mission is to provide support to the spouses of house staff and partners, mostly through social events, although they, they tend to help each other out as friends would do. They have about 100 uh, members, and we wanted to conduct a short survey through their organization to assess how the spouses viewed the signs and symptoms of burnout in the house staff. As you might expect, the vast majority of uh, the members of the RSA are women. 90% uh, who responded were women. We did have a few men who responded. And the vast majority of them felt like they had a good understanding about what their spouse or partner did at work. 
Our burnout survey was a 12-item survey. I used some validated uh, burnout tools along with a satisfaction survey from the Mayo Clinic uh, study that they did looking at uh, satisfaction of spouses of U.S. physicians. And then six items were on the spouses uh, and partners giving kind of demographics. We left uh, comment sections for causes of burnout, barriers to treatment, and possible interventions that we at, at Wake Forest Baptist Health could possibly in, uh, implement. We entered it into REDCap and then distributed it through the RSA website, so it was totally anonymous. There were three questions that focused on signs of burnout. The first one, after work, my spouse or partner comes home too tired to do some of the things that I would like to do. 93% of the respondents said sometimes to very often, and zero said not at all. Question number two, my spouse or partner is irritable upon returning home from work. 84% said sometime to very often. The third uh, question, my spouse or partner has become more cynical about work. 64% said sometimes to very often. All of these very, I think, significant. For contributing causes to burnout, a lot of it had to do with long hours, inadequate time off between uh, shifts, or inadequate time off uh, altogether, feeling underappreciated by staff, patients, faculty, inflexible work schedule, social isolation, and low pay. So how staff pay has been pretty stagnant for many years, and these are young uh, physicians who have incurred tremendous debt for medical school and college. They've got young families. Uh, Childcare is a big issue and came up many times during this survey. Some of the comments that were made, you know, lots of hours charting to complete a shift. Uh, hours were extremely long. Uh, husband had no time to eat lunch, lost 30 pounds, probably didn't need to. And then barriers to seeking treatment. Again, a lot of it had to do with time constraints, both for the house staff as well as for mental health or marriage therapist. The stigma still exists of seeking help for mental health issues, and then lack of child care. Comments for uh, the survey from the survey regarding barriers. Um, again, not enough mental health support in the workplace, you know, husband works over 100 hours a week, doesn't have time, and then um, unhealthy communication between residents and attending. With regard to interventions that we might uh, implement at our uh, academic center, they thought staff counseling with some flexible hours, uh, personal health days or half days that could be scheduled maybe during an elective or an ambulatory month so that they could take care of their own personal needs. Workshops, workshops regarding burnout, regarding uh, resiliency skill training, uh, mindfulness, meditation, as well as some topics that were much more practical, such as financial planning, contract negotiations, that sort of thing. Educating uh, the spouses and partners on burnout enforcing duty hours, and then emergency uh, child care. Some of the comments regarding the interventions, uh, making some of this mandatory, uh, anonymous process to facilitate uh, dialogue, and then honestly, the only intervention that would make a difference for all the residents I know of <laughs> is time. So time is of the essence, right? So in conclusion, as Dr. O'Donovan pointed out, burnout is a multifactorial problem. It commonly affects house staff. The lack of work-life balance and time constraints are major contributors. And our uh, RSA uh, survey indicates that the spouses and partners overwhelmingly felt that their loved ones were exhibiting signs of burnout, even higher rates than they themselves reported. 
They felt like their spouse's work added stress to their home life and affected their relationship, and yet the majority of them felt satisfied with the relationship that they had with their spouse or partner. So we also, when we discuss these results, uh, the RSA was, is, its mission is to support the spouses of house staff, but it also serves as a support system for the house staff. And we felt like bringing them into the fold, bringing them into the discussion about burnout and potentially some of the interventions would definitely be a win-win situation for everybody. I'd like to thank Aaron, Tina, along with Jerry and Rob and all of the uh, participants in the Leadership College. I've learned a lot this year and really enjoyed getting to know each and every one of you. Thank you.